Is it, can you? I don't got the box. Did you remember you can call uh, Colonel out in the box and he'll also say a little something, something, something. Yep. Hello, Miss America. Can I show you in the cooch? I've been at him, lads. I ju oh, I've just really shot uh, Miss America in the cooch. Cool. It's getting really dark in here, actually. It's getting dark in here. It's like a cinema. Cinema. So, apart from you shooting Mrs. America, apparently. In the cooch. In a cooch. Have you done anything? Uh, I have uh, been to the women's bathroom and gotten yelled at. Well. You can see that on YouTube. Cool. Freeze! Don't shoot. See? Also, here you can see that he reaches up and grabs the, the spanner. Yeah. Normally, you wouldn't let anyone do that. No. Remember how, but Raiden is young. Anyway. Yeah, remember how fucking professional Snake was? Yeah. You see the exact same situation here, but he's totally off his guard. And you see, he also lets him move. Yeah. And then, Blisking comes in all cool. <laughs> Don't go point at <laughs> But, uh -huh. My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head, also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I'm too old for this I shit. You'd retire. <laughs> I was actually just thinking that. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you the bomb. So you got three guys trying to save the world now. Yep. Uh, it's all turning out to be an American movie. You, you don't even know how tragic it is to think about his life. Yeah. We'll You'll see his later. name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students, the Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb. So Fat Man is doing. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> and that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. Interesting. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Uh. <laughs> are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. Will you stop signing me up for explosive duties? <laughs> right. That's an odd name. <laughs> Also, see that um, in the first game, everyone addressed Snake with a sort of respect, like, "Oh, you're that famous soldier. Oh, you're Snake. You're like the legend." Here, yeah. my name's Ryan. Aren't you a dick? Who the fuck are you? I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us next on the security huh? 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 anything about that. That, very, very... That looks a lot like the guy we knew. Yeah. Right now we I have actually caught myself in adjusting my glasses no the exact the same way. Yep. So and uh, I kind of feel dumb for it, but it's... It, I, like, I did it Hold once on. when I first started wearing glasses, and it's just been, like, normal for me ever mm. since. I don't... Like, no, normal when you are, uh, you're adjusting your glasses, you're like... Putting here at the sides. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it the other way. Well, because I'm a kind of beast. Well, we all do something like you know that. I've never been trained in bomb disposal. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been trained in bomb disposal. All you have to do is follow his directions. Don't be such a wimp. Identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? 
I wasn't informed of that. So by this time, Snake hadn't been spotted by anyone no. besides Meryl, which he was supposed to take contact with. And Ryan has been uh, been spotted by two of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. Wow. You Thanks! <laughs> now I can do it! But you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? <laughs> Are the results in yet? He's such a dick! Yeah, definitely. There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. You could do this a little faster, guy. This is a C4 bomb. That's a lot of C4. Yep. Yeah. Enough to fuck uh, what somebody's day up. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and there we go. Simple. Huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of condition for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by c 4 the what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. Uh, a thing that I love is that Snake is not technically inclined. So whenever you hear something like this and going, what the fuck? Then he, he's there to like put it into layman's terms. Yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. And he's playing the role of not really being a super spy well here. Yeah. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. Well, that taught him goes... When you are a fucking bomber, no shit! That goes for most villains. And actually, most people, common yeah, sense is gonna become a superpower soon. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. So, he remember the thing I said about uh, 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 passing on information? Stillman taught Maybe that's uh, Fat Man about this. bombs, and now he has to live the with the information he him. taught him. There yeah. are some things you have to pass. Fat Man became a terrorist. Yeah, yeah. needs to know which one. Right. That's a good sentence. Mm. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Dun dun dun. Cool. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the Stop app. being a bitch! Oh, yep. Don't forget that you need the radar to use the system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. So this is also a thing that teaches you about the new radar system. Here? Here? Yeah. I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. My the theories? Shell is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of 12 bombs at least. 
Considering the shells are architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. It also gives you an excuse to learn the uh, the map. Mm, true. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Take this. You can also see Ryan's movements are a lot more reluctant. Yeah. It's a lot more... What's this? Security card issued to Shell personnel. The big shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance like level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Wrighton, your card key can open doors for security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. So already Pliskin it gets higher two. level cards than Ryden. Yeah. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war... Snake has a way of saying... I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. <laughs> this is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. Sus, Seth again. If anything see, comes you up, can, you can also see he, he picks up on it. Yeah. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. Yep. And Semper Fi, that's Marine. Yep. Not US Marine Corps. That man's no seal. <laughs> I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Yeah. Look how much you had me. Normally team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Look at you there, Mr. Well, Know-It-All. I know a few things. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. <laughs> well, thank you. Dick. <laughs> yeah. But how much do you have to fucking research to find that out? Yeah, you have to go to Wikipedia. Well, yeah, Just but still, it's, it's not something you would use as a plot. Well, but again, both, both Simplify and, and, and Who Dares Wins are fairly common uh, quotes. To, uh, they're fairly well known, you know. Um, yeah, but, 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 but thinking about how much else he will have to have uh, fucking research. Well, true, true, true. Uh, obviously, had he used uh, quotes from various other uh, special branches, uh, like the GIGN, I can't remember this, or uh, perhaps even one of the Danish special, for special forces where they left. Uh, that would have been a different Don't thing. That would have taken a lot more research, actually. Not necessarily a lot, but it would have been more in-depth. Whereas Semper Fi, you hear that a lot. In, in American films with Marines and such. Yeah, yeah but, but I never knew... Uh, well, I knew now, but when I first heard I never knew that it was like... Special for a special, a special branch of soldiers. I oh. thought that it was just something you said when you were a soldier. All right, fair enough. Now, Semper Fi, that's you as Marine Corps. Okay, so remember the uh, the bottles before? Yeah. We got melons. <laughs> okay, can you shoot? But, yeah. Well, hello there. But, yeah. Who dares wins? It's a really good quote. It is. Why do you think the SAS use it? I don't know. Because they're fucking bosses. They're pretty bows. Oh yes, they are. Okay, uh, another thing. Uh, let's see how, let's see how. You can see a spray of ketchup in that direction, yep. right? That's kind of cool. Uh, 
And let's bring up stuff in the other direction. That is just cool. You didn't have to do it! But, hell, why not? Oh, there's a bomb in there. I wonder where it is. Can you tell me where it is? It's up there. Oh, hello. Kool-Aid. How do I... Kool-Aid, motherfucker. Use the right... Okay, that's weird. Yeah, that was... Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like it. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations too. And none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. I also like that when he says that you can hear that he's actually scared. Yeah. Because, like, the only thing that you have to go on when you are, like, an ex explosive expert like this is, you know, a system. Yeah, you, you, you know where you would place them if you wanted to take out the place. And if you don't know that, or, or, you're shit out of luck. Yeah, well, you, you know where you'd place them if you want to take the building out or cause the most harm to whatever whoever was inside, you know. The, then that you is, know where you have to look. Yeah, you have to think as the bomber, pretty much. Uh, and, and, and think the way he would think. So yeah, that's, um, that's a little scary, actually. I, I, I would assume as a, as a bomb expert. Don't mind the arm that's quite clearly broken out. Never. Freeze. <gasps> Do the wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I love that wiggle. Michael Roger Owens. And again, that's not very Russian. <laughs> so I suppose it, it has to do with the, uh, with the crew working on the game, actually. Also, that's the thing that uh, I loved that you could do in this game. You could shoot the, um, the cameras. Mm. There is one thing you can do, but I don't dare do it. And that is? Uh, it's that you can, while you're hanging from some place, you can let go, mm -hmm. and if you time the button... Who's there? Who's there? What? How? He can see you under. Ah, uh, but yeah, you can let go and then you can drop yourself down. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean, if you drop down? Uh, you can drop down and if you press the button at the exact right point. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can uh, drop down and you can grab on to the ledge beneath it. Alright. Uh, but it's super dangerous because your timing has to be like way the fuck on. Mm. Super poorly. It is. I don't have a plan. Wow, they didn't notice you from what ten feet away. Wow, they're bad soldiers. Fucking spray this thing. Get the fuck out of here! I grabbed the helicopter. Ow! 
Stop shooting my asshole! Yep, it is. That could have not gone better. Nah, yeah, good. Yeah, at least now I'm in safety. Oh, so you think. Watch the door fucking open right in my face. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker! Let's see what do we have right here. Oh, my God! Are you shitting me?! Find another Easter egg. I can also find. Yep. Mine. <laughs> Some of the injuries. That's cool. The best I hiding spot in the entire game. Behind some of the enders. Yeah. Cool. Now we play the waiting game. But that was a long wait. So remember uh, the fast travel mechanic there was in But, uh, well, I could have shot him, but then I would have alerted the other guy. But... But you could have made him wiggle first. Wiggle, 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 yeah. I mean, wiggle that uh, But, but uh, the fast travel mechanic in this is where you go onto the conveyor belt with the box on. And <laughs> yeah. That is just cool. I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Annoying oh, fly. Sorry. Another quote that was used in the first game. Man dressed up like a ninja. It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? That seems familiar. <laughs> yes, we do. Sure it wasn't an arsenal tank. Don't and she seems fool. familiar too. I think I wouldn't know the difference. I've never seen field kill like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box <laughs> on the connecting bridge to Shell 2. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out then. Freeze! You must be also, there's a reason why she's that high up. Yeah. And that's because Drop she's that much better than him. So she must have given birth in dude in this time. Yep. Oh well. So, uh, a guy in a cyborg suit with a sword. Yep. No. So, so, so like I said, it's it's key, it keeps trying to 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 remind you of the first game. Yeah. Soldier, Russian, must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you. I've been breathing. Again, <laughs> could you have, could you have killed her uh, in the Russian opening army? Uh, no. All right. See, seeing that you you right. get the first. She's led the group oh yeah, she's the weapon from her. Yeah, that's right. And you can shoot her while she was out. She's a tough one. Uh, 
you can well I don't think I think when you get the gun it's without bullets and if you go and find bullets when you find her again uh, when you go back to her uh, her corpse is gone alright oh, fair enough fair enough would have been an interesting thing though yeah what's that what ouch you motherfucker ah oh, he reached for his radio did I make it seems like it Hello, Harrier. Oh, fuck off! Freeze! Huh? Uh. Wiggle button. I have two more bullets. Uh. That was full. <laughs> hey, let's see. Isn't it usually here? There it is. So you're not even bothering to go for the maps right now? Well, the maps are downstairs and I could easily have been spotted, so I... No, it rises right now. The C4 reported on the roof of so I don't think he will tell us unless we actually call him. But if you call Pliskin, the snake, if you want, this is all he will. Uh, sometimes he will tell you where he finds the bombs, and he will like give you hints as to how you easily find them. And one time he will, uh, he, when you call him, he will say that he found a guard with a C4 strapped to his back. Which is a reference to what you could do in the first game where you oh, yeah. could attach C4 to enemies' backs. It's a trap? I don't know. But I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. So where's that guard, by the way? You know the guy is always getting beaten up. We, we'll find him. Don't worry, don't worry. I haven't forgotten about him. Alright, fair enough. I'm supposing we find him in a bathroom or something. No. Oh, we actually don't see him. Oh, we don't? Uh, at one point you get a directional mic. Yeah. If you use that directional mic, uh, you can. Um, uh, d there are certain scenes where you have to. Um, hold on. Should we shoot him? Uh, there are certain scenes where you have to use it to follow a conversation. Mm -hmm. And if you point it an entirely different uh, way, you'll be able to hear him in a bathroom talking to himself. <laughs> nice. Like, ah, I can't believe I'm in another fucking mission and I got diarrhea again. <laughs> 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 Shit like that. Oh, great. Great stuff. Whee! Yep. The, the cool thing is you can only do that flip down instead. Yeah, obviously, because if you do it outside, uh, uh, the way up. You're gonna be knocked over. You're gonna be knocked the fuck out. Who's there? I'm here, motherfucker! Fuck out! Take that. See, that camera would just fuck me up all the time. Man. This is her over to the note. Before the alarm of traders. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Go. Ow! How the hell did you wake up? Did you get that box? Box 5. Yeah, there's a lot of different boxes. Why are there different boxes? Well, uh, it's all for the sake of blending in. Like, if you use a box and stand up against boxes of a di that you know, of a different kind, yeah, then pe they will get suspicious. But if you wear it uh, and stand next to boxes that are similar, you will blend more in. Also, uh, you will use different boxes to be transported different places. Okay. Because they will obviously have uh, various. You know, different things attached to it. Obviously. Ah, oh, fuck it is here. What?
Oh. Okay, so Camilla, throwback. Oh, is this? Identify yourself. Just call me Dean. Yeah. You mean from Shadow Moses? He's the right thing. Why would it matter if I called you Dean? Yeah, that's also a great name. I don't know if you if I remember. You, the you, you tell the story. Right. I, I prompted you to do so. Okay. Someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a first transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think? I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is not. Great, Great Fox died. I have a figure of him actually. <laughs> I will. Oh my god, I'm going to be such a prick when I make my Metal Gear figure. I'm just going to have fucking uh, Great Fox laying under the fucking foot of the Metal Gear. Hey, actually, here, uh, here's the thing. Um, uh, oh, shit. Now I can't see the mines! Oh, um, Anyways, should you also get the uh, the solid snake figure from uh, I believe it's Hot Paws? I, I would like that. Well then, I'll have to look at ah. it on eBay for you. One figure at a time, dude. <laughs> you just got one. This is my first figure. Yeah, but that, that is not a color, the one you have to put together. It's it's a one to six um, action figure. Like, like the the Joker figure I have, you know. Oh, fuck off, my you're, dick! You're in a son of the Enders box, what do you expect? I don't have any ammo! <laughs> Take that, you bastard! Fuck off! There's the assault team. Yeah. Oh, this is going super poorly! Yep, it is. But we haven't died until this point, so it's actually fairly well done, you know. Yeah, I seem to remember this. Yes. Ow! They <laughs> still get you. I love this. Fuck. Well, that is just... That is just rude. Try, uh, try and look. They're using real... Uh, yeah, you know, right. Oh. <laughs> Take that. Just gonna go into my little hidey hole. Just gonna stay in here for a minute or two. But now I got the amount. Uh, yeah, at least you got it. <laughs> and there's the fucking shells from the bullets that ran off my ass. Yeah, I'm not that bad. Probably wanna stay down. At least for like 30 seconds. to go oh, what I was just thinking that maybe they would go through here oh but there's no door and it's a dead end I like shoot his radio you're not really good at this are you boy Uh, it's because I want to show so many things. <laughs> you better stay in there. I mean, they know what you're gonna do in a minute. Oh, I, I'm really out of training. I'm so sorry. Why did you just stay in here? Man. <laughs> that seems like the same thing to do. Is he 
the stand the May want to pega. Yeah. Stand the air duct. So, um, meanwhile, we wait. There's another excellent little thing here. Another thing that wasn't at all there at the time is uh, environmental damage. You can shoot fire hydrants like that. Mm. Fire extinguishers like yeah. that. And they will blow smoke in the, your opponent's eyes so they won't be able to see you. Mm. Cool. Radar. 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 Caution. Can't even play around with gizmos because the time stops when I do that. In Metal Gear 4, I actually think they made a specific thing for when shit, shit like this happens. You can get an iPod. Okay. Like, a, like a, an iPod. It's not. It, it, it's an iPod. It's not just yeah. an MP3 player. It's an iPod. Damn. And you can listen to music. Ah, that's kind of cool. Okay. So now they're gone. Yeah, we need a map. 